Good morning, everyone. It is lovely to be with you again. From the rising of the sun until the going down of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. Today is Saturday the 27th of June, and our daily devotion is based on Psalm 69, verses 13 to 21. Psalm 69, verses 13 to 21. But as for me, my prayer is to you, O Lord, at an acceptable time, O God, in the abundance of your steadfast love, answer me in your saving faithfulness. Deliver me from sinking in the mire. Let me be delivered from my enemies and from the deep waters. Let not the flood sweep over me, or the deep swallow me up, or the pit close its mouth over me. Answer me, O Lord, for your steadfast love is good. According to your abundant mercy, turn to me. Hide not your face from your servant. For I am in distress. Make haste to answer me. Draw near to my soul. Redeem me. Ransom me because of my enemies. You know my reproach and my shame and my dishonour. My foes are all known to you. Reproaches have broken my heart, so that I am in despair. I looked for pity, but there was none. And for comforters, but I found none. They gave me poison for food. And for my thirst, they gave me sour wine to drink. Our devotion is from Warren Wearsby's Prayer, Praise and Promises, and it is entitled, No Comforters. Reproach has broken my heart, and I am full of heaviness. I looked for someone to take pity, but there was none, and for comforters, but I found none. Verse 20. When we read Psalm 69, we meet Jesus Christ. For many verses from this psalm are quoted in the New Testament relating to him. For example, I have become a stranger to my brothers and an alien to my mother's children. Because zeal for your house has eaten me up, and the reproaches of those who reproach you have fallen on me. Verses 8 and 9 and John 2, 17. David is going through difficulty, and it is making him more like Jesus. Therefore it enabled him to reveal the Lord to us. What breaks your heart? Is it broken when you can't have your way? Is it broken when something is taken away from you? Jesus and David both said, Reproach has broken my heart. Verse 20. What can you do about a broken heart? David prayed, Deliver me. Hear me. Draw near to my soul. Redeem me. Verses 14, 16, 18. And God answered him. Sometimes you bear reproach because of others. You feel heavy, broken-hearted and alone. But Jesus went through all of this for us. Be thankful that you can share in the fellowship of his sufferings. Philippians 3.10 Also, while others are going through this experience, be an encouragement to them. If you've known what it's like to have a broken heart, and if you've looked for someone to take pity, then you know how much it means to have a friend. Today, find someone with a broken heart and start to bring healing to him. When your heart is broken, be encouraged that Jesus knows what you're going through and that you are becoming like him. But there is another purpose. You can help others whose hearts are broken. God will use you to help bring healing to them. Don't waste your experiences. They have great value. As I go, I want to leave you with another verse from Psalms. Psalm 9. Those who know your name will trust in you. For you, O Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. I commend you to the one 
who never forsakes his people. May you know his blessing and his presence. God bless you until we meet again to glorify him.